having a bit of a tough time in lane six and one right now versus the ten and four of Tinker. Um, and Iceberg's just going to head back over and heal up at the shrine. So there's a strong possibility that they're able to find a kill here, particularly if Shadow Fiend sticks around too long mid lane. Yeah, probably wants to be a little bit greedy here. Scaly, he's like, I'm a full HP, but my mana's low, but I want to stick around until he nukes me a couple times, then I'm going to go Shrine, and this could be his undoing. Oh, here really? comes the rotation in. They found him. Pens down as well. They got that damage. Yep, yeah, looking for the kill. Able to find it. FNG drawn first blood. Easy peasy on the Shadow Fiend. In fact, it's going to be turning the other way here, but they use their spells offensively, and they'll just drive Thunic back. A little bit of miscommunication there. The big problem we see is Dak in mid lane yet again. They found Scandal and, well, Witch Doctor cask does not come out quite on time. And so they end up being able to find another kill on Scandal mid. Yeah, all that pulling to the mid lane, helping out. Pressure from Chen, making DK Phobos' life very easy. Yeah, he's about 50 gold ahead of the Shadow Team, in fact. And uh, well, I guess Blow Your Brain, at least he's still on top, only by a very slight margin as the harass continues. God. Yeah, well, we'll keep our eyes on this, how the next several minutes unfold. Radiant Sunlight, they have another Burrow Strike in a second if they want to do it, applying the Caustic. They're diving, they find that kill. One last shot comes out with the Hooken, and they're able to get it. And meanwhile, up here in the top lane, Ala getting a little bit frisky. is going to end up going down there. Vanscore finds the kill as well, Team Spirit strike back and continue to... It's, it's a very much also a, a lineup that's going to benefit from early group up once they get those levels online, but you got to be feeling at least a little bit scared at this point, uh, particularly going against the Team Spirit lineup that's going to be able to you know, team fight pretty effectively with the Sand King coming online. Yeah, they do have a haste on Scandal. Sadly, it seems unlikely they'll get to use this as uh, an offensive tool. More than likely, they'll just try and make sure he doesn't die uh, again. DK Phobos running right. They're going to be able to get the kill. Vanscore pulls back in sunlight, and this might be another one going in. They're going to try the crush, but the dive now coming in. Shadouk and uh, Shockwave connects. Lolk also going to be caught now by the net. Funnick shows up, wants to make this work, but Vanscore doing so much damage. The Fade Bull almost kills off Lolk. Not going to be able to quite be there, but Funnick taking too much damage. The Chen creep are going to die, but so too will Funic. And 7-0 and starts. Scandal shows up, just wants to get anything in return, and FNG is just going to TP out in place. Nobody's going to spot him. Vanscore running away. Haystrom, they do get that kill with the Rays. But man, this has been a terrible start for LQ. Yeah, at least they get two back there with the uh, DK Fobos burrowing. Uh, might need to be Vanscore who picks it up as Funic shows here, and Oh, three heroes rotating. I don't believe that they're going to get anything with this. Fan score sprinting away as well. Oh, there's a raise, a nice bit of damage. They do find that kill. Funnick now thinking about diving. They throw out another shock wave. The boots, well, everything getting thrown, and they take him down. Yeah, once that cast is already used, it's hard to stop FNG. Something off, but he's up here with Blow Your Brain, hoping that someone's going to TP in to defend this, and maybe they'll get themselves a lasso tick up there. Seems I'm unlikely. Start using those creeps. Oh, they found Lock. Tons of damage comes out. He's just gone. Oh, so quick. They do drop down a ward right in range of a sentry, so that will get taken. Still slider up here. Dire vision. They no scandal still here, so they're not gonna stop yet. Oh, they Shino have him keeping back now though. They have a burrow strike as well with Blink, and there's Sand King immediately finding sunlight. He's gonna drop to that lucent beam. I hmm. Yeah. <laughs> only pushing on bottom so they might be able to They've take got this the vision too it's right near a shrine which is pretty terrifying but if they can find fng at the start there's the jump forward they actually decide to go on to bzz at the start of this one a misses on the crutch and well the epicenter turn around a ton of damage coming out from scandal it is gonna end up being enough to take down two and maybe a third as well as dk phobos falls iceberg still off on the other side they're getting a lot of control off from these chen creeps and scandal actually is going to just barely stay alive if he needs one more there's gonna be the missile they find that kill so the turn stolen corrosive haze hell of a fight and well uh, even with scandal going down there that's a big win for lq yep massive uh, 2.5k gold swab over oh but funic now he's in trouble Oh, just out of range right there, that last missile. And he doesn't have enough mana to do it now. They might be able to bring down Iceberg, and they will. Damn. So, <laughs> huge uh, turnaround. The Cross of Ace had, like, just come off, too. Oh, my God. They are all there. They have some vision. 
you can see right now that Funnick sees everybody that's here. They drop a sentry ward, and they this is going to spot him out. They caught him right on the edge, all pulling him back into vision and bringing him down. Now no more Funnick. They need to be really careful. Team Spirit looking to chase. That was a brutal mistake. Maybe they couldn't see. Did they not have vision there or something? That must have been it. But either way, a dire sentry right next to a radiant sentry, and Funnick couldn't move in time. And Radiance now the pressure comes. He is buyback. Uh, might be four seasons. That would be no. Oh, oh, the immediate lift. They call. Oh, look, no crush comes out. They are going to be able to kill off the Rubik. Nonetheless, Scandal going for the ulti right on top of BCZ. They aren't going to be able to do quite enough damage that blow your brain. Maybe going to be able to run him down. He's chasing into the trees. Epicenter was able to find one kill, but Iceberg may be already doing enough damage here. They turn on to Scandal, bringing him down too. And blow your brain. The sole survivor. It's even going to be able to kill off FNG. Doesn't look like it. He gets back home as well. Meanwhile, the chase trying to call in DBA Bobos. That's going to be enough. What a send home. I thought for sure BZ was dead. He came because of that high pound on the board. And the fact they had to just go for that blind crush on the secondary attempt yeah. really showed how that can punish you. Vance or not going to grab that. Oh, they got another lift on the Funnick, pulling him back in. Well, the bounces are going to start to come, but DK Phobos misses onto the crush. Still a ton of damage coming out from Iceberg as he chases down Funnick. Is forced back and away. So that really hurts. You get a, a haste rune on your bat rider and not be good for them, but they spot please. Iceberg with the invis. Oh, oh not quite God, there. That's painful. Oh, and now they pull back in Funnick. No, he's going to end up going down. A ton of damage comes out. And, well, the Tinker Lays are still doing strong stuff. They have the Weaver onto Iceberg. Not able to bring him down. The bugs are there. Again. But Chen Creeps now are revealed. Funnick buys back there. Preparing to wrap around and try and go into this fight. There's the jump forward. They pull back in Luna. Immediately going to get controlled. Look at the damage from Iceberg. Oh, the laser is quite strong. He's going to come in for a second round. If they're not careful, blow your brain. Still on vision. The Aghanim's doing a ton of work. And honestly, it just kills off Sunlight passively. Barracks are going down. And while they have the crush, I mean, what are they really hoping to do here? Double kill for Iceberg. I really like that play. They oh, just keep going. No, no rest for the wicked. Oh, jeez. It's like, you, like we know that you know we're all out here, but we have a Luna with an Aegis, and we are gonna make you lasso her. We're not gonna give you a choice. And so they just all stand around her, smoked up. Like you can't be sure exactly where they're all standing. The only way they could have gone for that is to commit the Slardar. He would have had dead or something. And then there's this like Aegis Luna running at you. Your Slardar doesn't have a four staff, so he would just be committing himself to death. There was just really no option for us in that scenario. Oh, they're crushing, but Tinker comes out strong. Dagon, laser, every damn thing right in their face. And Iceberg is going to jump back out. Vance, of course, stole the ulti just for posterity's sake. As Well, they jump forward and find another kill. Double kill for Iceberg, make it a triple. Vance score is actually the one that picked it up in the end. Good game gets called as Team Spirit just walk all over LQ's dreams. Yeah, two biggest things this game, definitely the fact that dual offlane of the Batrider and the Slider did not.